Well, greetings, Chem Department. Today we're going to look at a titration lab. And our goal for the lab today is how much acid is in your soda. And so to do that, we're going to look at the equation, the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid is equal to the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. And so we've got a couple key terms that we'd like to look into to begin with. Our first idea is neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction involves an acid and a base, which is going to produce salt and water, uh, eliminating both those acid and base during that time. And we're going to be using an indicator to determine the amount of pH or the changes color depending on the pH and use that indicator to find out when we've neutralized that acid and base. Our indicator we're going to be using today is going to be phenol phaline. So phenol phaline is going to be an indicator. If we were to put it in some water, so we get some distilled water, phenol phaline when it's added has no change occur to that distilled water because there's no base in that solution. If we were to take it, add it to a solution of sodium hydroxide, phenol phaline will react with that sodium hydroxide and produce a color change. So the idea behind that is that in the environment that's basic, the phenol phaline will turn to that nice kind of magenta pink looking color. That's going to show us that we actually have a base. So using our equation today, we're going to be looking at the molarity of the acid times that volume of the acid is equal to that molarity of the base times the volume of the base. So now we're going to go through and collect some data for today's lab. So the data we're going to collect, the first one is going to be molarity of the acid. This is our what we're going to solve for today. How concentrated, how much acid is actually in our soda. From there, volume of acid we're going to be measuring today. To measure the volume of acid, what we've used is just some Fresca. And we've poured it into our graduated cylinder and our volume is approximately just over 43, I'm gonna say about 43.1 milliliters. So our volume of our acid Now our base, molarity for the base, was pre-made ahead of time. We want a known concentration of the base. To do the known concentration of the base, sodium hydroxide, NaOH is our strong base, will react with that soda. To make this today, five grams of NaOH were added. One mole of NaOH over 40 grams per NaOH gives us a molarity of 0.125 uh, moles of sodium hydroxide. So we have a known concentration of our base. So that's a key idea there. We've got to have a known starting point for that concentration of the base. Our next step now is going to be to find the volume of that base. So we're going to start out taking our Fresca and adding it to the Erlmeyer flask. Now that we've got that in the Erlmeyer flask, we're going to then do a little rinse to make sure that we've got all of the soda in there. The extra water, since it doesn't contain any acid, is not going to change our results there. And we are going to be using our burette to measure. So our burette is set up so that we can actually calculate how much base we are adding to the chemical reaction in order to see that initial and final amounts. Before we get started, our color indicator, our phenol phaline, is going to be put in. We're going to use about seven, eight drops to add into the color indicator. And what we're going to do is start collecting some data, seeing how much volume we're actually going to collect. So to calculate the volume of the base, 
This will be our lab measurement using the burette so we can get as accurate of a measurement as we can. That final volume minus the initial volume is going to be the total volume of the base that was used. So using our burette, our burette is set up so that we can measure very small amounts or accurate amounts of the sodium hydroxide the base that's being used. Right now, measurement-wise, it might be difficult to see. We're somewhere between 32 and 33. We're not at the 32 mark. So these measure by two tenths, so 33.2, 33.4, 3 33.6 will be our measurement to begin with. So our initial volume, that 33.6 milliliters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some sodium hydroxide to our unknown solution. And we can notice that right away, we're starting to see a pink color form, but that pink color is going away right away. So right away, anytime we turn it back, it goes back to its original clear color because that sodium hydroxide is neutralizing the acid, but there's still more acid present. So that indicator then goes back to being clear as we add base. Notice that pink is staying around longer before being neutralized. So we're getting closer to that equivalence point. So we're getting to that point where that pink is staying around a little bit longer before leaving want it to get it so it takes quite a while for it to fade away. We're almost to that equivalence point. We add just a little bit more. For it to fade. And a couple more drops. And I think we're at about that point where after about 10 seconds we've lightly faded away to having that material back to the original color. Showing now that we've hit that equivalence point where the base and the acid are neutralized, showing that indicator are uh, helping us out there. So our final volume now to look is we are at close to that 60 mark. We're above 60, not quite to 61. So right now we're at about 62 our 60.2, 60.3 is our final volume. We're going to come back and now do a couple calculations. So now we are going to solve for that molarity of the acid. So to solve for the molarity of the acid, we're going to rearrange the equation dividing by a volume of the acid. So molarity of the acid is what we are solving for. Volume of the acid is what we measured. That's the amount of soda we started with. Molarity of the base was that known concentration that we prepared ahead of time. The volume of the base, we started with, so we ended at the 60.3, started at the 33.6, so the final minus initial, 26.7 milliliters. So rearrange the equation, molarity of the acid is equal to molarity of the base divided by R times the volume base divided by volume of the base. So our molarity of the base, 0.25 molar NaOH times that volume of the base, 26.7 milliliters, divided by the volume of the acid that we started with at 43.1 milliliters. Now when we go through to calculate that all out, it ends up being, that molarity of the acid ends up being about 0. 0774 molarity, which would be our H plus concentration, how much or what the molarity was of that. Now, knowing that, our equation pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. So if we plug that in, 
we end up with a pH calculation wise of about 1.11. Very acidic. Probably for our calculations in the chem lab here was a little bit too acidic measurement wise. Usually it's around pH of around two to three or somewhere in there, but that's all right for us. And one of the things that we want to look at is why the soda is acidic. Part of it's just because of the carbonated beverage and then also it contains the ingredient citric acid. So as we're going forward, what we've done today was find the molarity of the acid, use that to find the concentration of the pH of the acid by what we know is a titration lab. Safe travels to everyone.